Hey there, it's Big Tony over here at Natchi, coming at you with a little uh, Beacon Rush action. We are on the Power Plant map, and I'm showcasing for you guys my new acquisition. This is my new toy. This is the Ivory Ravana. Um, we will hop into the hangar at the very end, and I'll show you exactly what I'm running here. But this has been, I've, I have a, another Ravana, and it's like, it's the standard, and it's like, I've been wanting to get one of these, and it popped up on a pocket change deal. So, boom, there's a nice kill right there. So I turned around and said, you know what? It's worth it. This is a bot that's balanced, that's usable on the battlefield, and has been something I've really wanted back for a while. So, boom, <laughs> we beat that Ocho up. Um, Ravana is probably the most balanced and elegant bots in the game. It was, uh, you know, turn, it, when it hit the battlefield a long time ago, it was balanced then. And now you throw some good weaponry on it. I'm being just absolutely, this ultimate uh, phantom is just being really, really annoying here. So let's go ahead and dance around him a little bit and give him a little love. Punisher right there. Oh, we're going to have to work on him, I think. But the Ravana is one of those bots that can take you into Master and up into Champion League as a free-to-play bot. Now, these aren't free-to-play weapons on here. These are ultimate weapons on here, along with a Pascal drone and my standard three combo of amplifiers, nuke, repair, and immune. So this is definitely not what I would call a free-to-play build, but it is a free-to-play bot. So, oh, 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 I thought I was going to get him. Basically, what we're doing right now is a spawn point raid with a Ravana. <laughs> this is so sweet. Now, the front uh, part of this bot looks amazing. It looks like a, it it's, looks like an elephant, and it's got all this ancient ordination on it that just looks absolutely amazing. Come on, come on, come on, paint him down. Boom, for the godlike. Oh, someone, Mad, Clu Mad Cujo right there is kind of, I think he's kind of lagged out. So let's go ahead and get him off the battlefield. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing some good targets here. Uh, I'm guessing I'm probably, I'm, I mean, this is a good bot, guys, but really I think I'm probably in a low champion upper master league match here. Because I am really tearing you guys, these guys to shreds. And I'm not seeing a lot of raptors. And I have not been hit yet by... Oh, here we go. Got ourselves, a, yep, got ourselves another... That's a standard phantom right behind me. We'll get him in a second. Let's go ahead and get the Demeter out of here for the Living Legend. Now we'll get rid of him. Boom, boom, for the Living Legend. Now, this spot here... Like I said, this is not an upper champion league match. I'm not seeing the hallmarks of it. I am seeing Ocho's. I'm seeing that, but I'm not seeing raptors everywhere. I'm not seeing maulers. What I'm seeing here are a lot of master, probably master league builds. And yeah, shells, typhons, demeters. Yeah, uh, definitely targets that this bot here will tear up if you have it equipped like this one is right here. Now, the only reason I don't have a, a third scourge on here, ultimate scourge, is because I don't have one. So I'm making do with the ultimate T Punisher, which actually isn't the greatest weapon to go on here. I'm kind of hoping to pick up an ultimate ion or another scourge at some point to kind of match up to these because it's really the firing mechanism is a little different. And of course the uh, scourges actually are better for you know non-direct aiming whereas you have to be directional aiming with that T Punisher. But the T Punisher well I guess keeps me honest in where I'm facing. Let's go ahead and work on this guy right here. Let's go ahead and get rid of them. I, yeah, I'm seeing sirens and harpies and typhons. Oh my. <laughs> We've got them down to one bot already. We have utterly destroyed them. Now that guy over there, Punisher, he's been getting a few kills though. It'd be, I'm getting he's I'm betting he's probably he's gotta be getting yeah, he's gotta be running you know a very solid hanger. He was the one who had that ultimate uh, ultimate phantom, so definitely it's a guy who's got a solid hanger. BR clan, what we got here? We got a Titan. Um, now, this is not a Titan killer. Uh, this, this, we'll dance with this guy. And Indra is actually a really good Titan. So, we're going to dance with this guy a little bit. I have no illusions of being able to take this guy out. If we do, hey, fantastic. If not, I've I got the Titan to come after it with. Uh, this hanger here has got my Berzigliere, and that has got the uh, Infernos on it. So, I can get right up and roast and toast someone. Oh my gosh, we got him whittled down pretty good, actually. I don't. If I had a full hit, full hit point compliment here, I probably I could have probably danced him out and got him, but still a nice, nice run. So let's go ahead and drop the Titan. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yep. He's in range, so I can do a little, little flamethrower action on him. One more, and I can take a jump. Let's give him a little up. Oh, I'm not even going to get the kill on him. A uh, solid, solid build right there in uh, both the Berziglier and the Ravana. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the scores, and we'll hop over into the hangar. 15 kills, two beacon caps, chunk of damage, just a lot of fun. Alrighty, guys, let's hop into the hangar. Alrighty, guys, we're in the hangar. Let's do a quick rundown here. Let's look at my brand new toy, and that is the Ivory Ravana. I just MK3'd it. And what I'm looking here is Poe Pilot. I've got the Pascal drone on there. The Pascal drone is getting a nerf. That's the only portion of this that's getting a nerf. So I'm, I'll be looking at other drones to maybe complement it, or maybe the Pascal drone and its nerf capability will still suffice. I'm um, looking at uh, the weaponry here. I've got two Ultimate Scourges and one Ultimate T-Punisher. The T-Punisher is kind of a mix in there. A little shorter range. It's a direct fire versus, you know, the Scourges, which really are a little bit more indirect aim. It can, you know, you can be aiming one direction. You can still lock on, whereas the T-Punisher, you've got to be full on aiming. So a little different, but it works. Now I'm hoping to get an ultimate ion or maybe a third scourge at some point to put on there. Modules, I'm looking at the repair, nuke, and immune. My nuke is actually one level short of where it needs to be, but potent, potent build right here. Now over on the uh, Poe Pilot, I am running this as a, uh, you know, this is a tank. And I've got set for speed, Roadhog and Adamant Roadhog. So when I'm down on the chips, when we're down on the beacons, I can get a little bit faster. Stubborn Warrior, Adamant Guardian. So as the game gets a little farther away from us, say we're on the losing side, this gets a little bit tougher. And of course, Clever Survivor, I recommend that on everything. Or Deaf Survivor, whichever your particular bot has or pilot has as a skill capability. Allows you to use your special ability one extra time once you get down to about 50% of your hit points. Can save you in a crisis. Definitely a very solid pilot skill to have. Now let's go ahead and take a look over here at the, uh, this is my standard Ravana. And what I've got here is just a little bit of different build. It looks, you know, I've got the specialty skin on it, which is really cool, the underworld skin. But uh, I, want, I saw that ivory Ravana, I'm like, okay, this is one bot I can have two of in my hangar. Because this thing ain't getting nerfed anytime soon. But it is a bot that I've seen run in heavy hangers all the way up into lower end of Legends League. So this can be used, guys, in the hands of a very, very skilled player. So now my Poe Pilot here is a little different. I'm focusing on the uh, the use of the phase shift. Quartermaster, module expert. See those skills right there? Those are the ones that are going to give me a longer phase shift and then a quicker reload of that phase shift. So this should actually have a little bit more ability, a little more dance ability on the field. I call it that because Ravana does this transcendence to non-transcendence back, and you can do a lot of scooting around, and I call it the Ravana dance. And it really is a fun thing to do on the battlefield. All righty, guys. it's going to be it. That's going to be a wrap-up here. Uh, Ravana, pick it up. Free to play. You can run a lot of good things on it. You can run the Maces on it. You can run the Havocs on it. You can run, uh, heck, you can run the, the Cryos on it actually are getting a bump in the next update. It might actually be a pretty decent weapon to run on there. So definitely something you should explore if you're a free-to-play or pocket change player. All right, guys, time to be a lot of here. Hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you know when I'm dropping it. Stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. And I'll catch you on the battlefield.